Hi, I'm Bruce and I'm a cancer survivor. And I'm Kelsey. I've had kidney disease all during my childhood. We've both spent a lot of time at BC Children's Hospital. In fact, neither one of us would be here today if it weren't for this place. And since we're both so familiar with Children's Hospital, we'd like to take you on a quick tour to show you just how awesome Children's Hospital is. Let's go! Every single day, about 400 kids and their families come to Children's Hospital from all over the province. For about 25% of those kids, this is where they come to. Emergency. Some arrive by ambulance or helicopter. Hi, Jerry. What do you see here at the emergency department? Well, Bruce, here in the emergency department at BC Children's Hospital, we see children with a wide variety of conditions. Um, anything from cuts and scrapes, minor injuries, to children who have suffered more severe injuries, such as kids who have been in motor vehicle accidents. Uh, we see children who have infections, who have chronic illnesses, and we also treat that little boy or that little girl that walked through our door who have rock up their nose or maybe a bug in their ear. Seriously, rocks up their nose? You would be amazed what we take out of noses and ears around here. Children's Hospital does thousands of operations here every year. Some of the patients come here just to have their tonsils taken out, while others, well, just before my fourth birthday, I had a kidney transplant. At the time, I was one of the first kids to receive a new kidney at Children's Hospital. This is Gaylene Ray. She's in charge of the surgical suite. Gaylene, what kind of operations take place here at Children's Hospital? Kelsey, we do a wide variety of operations here at Kids. We do everything from a simple eye procedure right up to doing open hearts on our newborn kids. But of particular interest, we have our minimal invasive surgery area. We like the thought of our kids going home sooner, recuperating with their families and also having teeny little scars for them. But we can only do this with the donations that we get. Thanks so much for chatting with us today. You're welcome, Kelsey. <laughs> After surgery, some of the patients will recover in the intensive care unit. This is where the province's most critically ill and injured kids are looked after. This department is high tech, lots of equipment here, but it's also high touch. A huge range of caregivers attend to these patients, giving them very specialized, tender, loving care. Children's Hospital has many clinics. Some could stay for a day, some just for an hour. This is the oncology clinic where kids with cancer and blood disorders are treated. I spent a ton of time here back when I was two years old. That's when I was diagnosed with a rare type of liver cancer. I had lots of chemo, surgery, and about 32 blood transfusions. I don't remember a lot about those days, but some of the caregivers still remember me. This is Dr. Pritchard. She was one of my caregivers when I was younger. It's been nine years. What's changed since then, Dr. P? Well, Bruce, things get better and better. We can cure even more children now with cancer. Overall, we can cure about 85 to 90% of children with cancer. And as you can see, the clinic is much better than when you were treated. We now have a big, new, bright clinic, thanks to donated dollars, which we're very grateful for. So, everything's getting better. What's the best part of your job, Dr. Pritchard? The best part of my job is seeing patients like you that were so sick when you were little, and when you come back looking completely healthy and well, that is definitely the best part of my job. I think it's cool that you think that sweet and special. <laughs> That's right, you are. This is a whole building filled with mad scientists. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, oh, I mean researchers. They came up with a combination of drugs to get rid of my liver cancer and save my life. That's right, Bruce. The researchers in this building are all working really hard to try to find cures and better treatments for childhood illnesses like diabetes, heart defects, and cancer. And we can do it because people make donations to Children's Hospital. Okay, Bruce, here's the mad scientist experiment. Drop it in. Here we go, watch this. Whoa! Cool. I spent my whole childhood visiting this hospital, and some of my best memories were of these playrooms and all the toys, and the caregivers who helped me forget that I had significant health problems. Hi, Joanne. Kelsey, how are you? Good. Oh, so nice to see you. This is Joanne. She was my child life staffer. Her job is to help kids cope with being here. 
I remember you and I playing and um, you kept me from being scared all those times. Oh, when you love to play, it was so easy to do my job I, with you, Kelsey. I have some pictures to show you of when I was in the hospital. This is oh, before my transplant. That cute little face. Actually, yes. I have a picture for you too. Oh yeah. This is a picture of us <laughs> while uh, the Halloween parade. Yes, I remember this costume. Post-transplant, because you can see yes. that your face is a bit fuller yes. there. Yeah. What a treat it is to see you after all these years. And so often we think of patients that we've worked with, that especially patients that we felt a real connection with and wonder how they're doing. <laughs> and to see you grown up and doing so well, it's just the most wonderful thing. Thank you so oh. much. So nice to Aww. see you. <laughs> Here's something else you don't usually see in a hospital. Here at Children's, there are two resident clowns who help put the silly back in the patient's day. This guy is known as Doc Willie. It's so beautiful. Here we try it again, okay? Ready? We take it like that. Scrunch it all up. Now gently blow. Huh? A chicken. A chicken. <laughs> This baby is sleeping, and she needs complete darkness. That's why there's a quilt over her incubator. These babies in the neonatal intensive care unit were either born premature or born with some other kind of severe health problem. Some of these babies are no more than one pound at birth. They are so incredibly fragile, even taking off a band-aid can make them bleed and their lungs, eyes, and digestive systems aren't yet fully developed. Highly specialized care is given around the clock to the teeniest of the hospital's patients. Okay, we didn't get to see everything inside of the walls of BC Children's Hospital, but we did see some things that make it so unique inside of this province. And you also saw ways that your donations have helped to make a difference to the kids who have to come here every day. Kids like me. And me. So thanks to BC Children's Hospital and thanks to you for visiting. <laughs>